Hey, Bosa Traders. It is great to be with you again today. Really good. We had a good day today in the spread trading of a couple different instruments here. I want to go over those for you, show you what we did, and open up your mind to some of the uh, some of the possibilities that spread trading has for your futures business. So let's take a look. This is our first trade today. Well, I was looking at the silver and gold spread. Who doesn't like a silver and gold spread coming into November? And what I did is, uh, you can see right here, this is the, the entry of the trade was right at that green arrow. You can see that reflected at the SI chart up on top. But again, our spread history line, which are these fine little dashes, are showing that the silver and gold spread over the last, I think it's 15 days, have been rising in the morning. So from 7.15 up until at least 10.30 here, we see this spread is historically proven to rise. So this is our edge. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for support. We're looking for buying at support levels in the spread. So it went down. We were expecting upward. We went down into the equilibrium line, which is this yellow line here. I saw this. Actually, I saw this right at 8.15, but I didn't jump on it. I saw the green short-term moving average coming in, and prices of the spread were above that level. I actually ignored it. I wasn't in here at that time. When I returned to the chart, I noticed that we had cycle dots here, but they had finished printing. So we were out of a cycle mode down, and the market was still finding support right at the low of this channel that had formed. The fast moving average is still rising, generally speaking, and I went and I put a limit buy right here go along at the bottom of this wedge here that was forming, or this triangle. And I got filled and took gosh I took like no heat at all here you can see went long right at that point on the limit entry an automatic limit entry and the market found great support the movement continued and boom we found all the way to target and this was a, a move of this wasn't a $2,100 move but it was about an about a $900 move so we were long two spreads here so exciting move there we had a great trade right off the bat I'll get back to the second trade. The third trade here was at 9.30. And the market we're looking at is the micro NASDAQ versus the micro Russell. Now you'll notice that this one requires a balancing of the V dollar ratio in order to make it a balanced spread. And we need the balancing because some contracts move dollar wise they move much higher than other contracts so it wouldn't make sense to trade one micro nasdaq against a micro russell because the micro russell doesn't move as far as the nasdaq does on a daily basis and bosa calculates your v dollar ratio for you this v dollar is volatility dollar ratio so the volatility in dollars is what's being shown here if you want to make this an equivalent spread where the dollar movement per day is equal you want to trade three micro russells that's what the three is here for and one micro nasdaq and that will get you an equivalent dollar move on a daily volatility basis so i set a bosa to trade one micro nasdaq long and three micro russells short now the cool thing about this is that you don't have to trade it that way but if you were to trade it at a one and one ratio, the micro NASDAQ would be the dominant leg of the spread and the micro Russell wouldn't be able to give you an effective hedge. Micro NASDAQ moves three times as far as the micro Russell. So you can do that. If you feel that you want to trade the NASDAQ today, but you want to hedge it against a small position in the micro in the Russell, you can do it. You can set your your ratio to whatever you like. You can go one to two, you can go one to one. I went one to three to make them equivalent. But this just highlights some of the some of the cool features of spread trading. You can tailor your spread to be based on on a number of different factors, risk being one of them, and your convictions being another. So it's very flexible and that's what is great about spreads. One of the great things about spread trading. So what we saw here is, again, the spread history line. It's getting kind of cut off up here, but the expectation has been high right out of the open. So going into the open, this market is usually way up here in the stratosphere. 
And today it wasn't. Today it had a divergence, so it went down. And I caught that right away. I said, well, typically this spread wants to move higher out the open. And I saw support was forming at our volatility band right here. I saw we had cycle dots forming. Support was forming. We kept the bouncing off that level. And that's when I went long right at that the negative 5444 price of the spread. And immediately it moved up in my direction. I got out at a quick 200 bucks. Now I was long two spreads. Each spread now is four contracts. It's one contract of the NASDAQ, three contracts of the Micro Russell. And that's what we were trading. So it was, I was long two Micro NASDAQ and I was short six Micro Russells. And that's how that worked out. All right. So now let's look at the really big move today. So this is the third trade I did, which was the crude oil and the RB. Now RB is the gasoline market. Not many people trade that. It's kind of a thin market. It's still ticking away right here. But this is an interesting spread and it's not for the faint of heart. It could be, it could be a big mover. It's not very highly correlated. So there's risk here. This is not an ideal spread. It is a commodity derivative spread. So the commodity is, is crude oil and the derivative from crude oil is the gasoline product, obviously. So it's got that correlation going for it. But I tell you, this can be a, this could be a wild mover. What I saw in this market to begin with was it was down. The expectation is the red dashes here is down below the equilibrium line. Moving up almost consistently, it, the prediction is to move up all the way to 10 o'clock time frame. And uh, after I saw these two cycle dots come in print, I saw it break above the equilibrium line right here. And when it did that, I was considering buying because this market again is predicted to move up. It started moving up following its prediction. And I traded it at a one to one V dollar ratio. You can see that it actually both is suggesting a, a two to one ratio. I wasn't prepared to do that. So this market now is kind of favored toward the gasoline movement. And since the crude oil is only about 50% of what its volatility should be. So I went long on the retrace down to here. Now I got a really pretty lousy fill. I think I got filled right up here at the negative 21,000 level. It was kind of higher than I wanted to get filled at. I targeted this level up here at the time and the market just bounced around. Not much happening. It moved up here. I wasn't at that target level at that time. The target again was up here at the top. Price moved back down here and I saw support coming in again at the equilibrium line and at the rising fast moving average. So I went long another two spreads. So I was in this for four spreads, four positions, two here and two here. You can see my fills here and here. And the gasoline market went down, which was a good thing. I gained on the gasoline position and the crude oil was basically up a little bit on average. And that's where this market popped up to here. And I got out at the red line, which is our target, got out right there. And going four spreads of these, each each one is 200 to two. So this was an $800 band. So this is about a this is about a $1,200 move in this market. You can see that the market continued to find support at that equilibrium level, and it even moved higher throughout the rest of the day. It would have been a great one to hold on to, but the prediction again was above there the whole time, and it held on pretty well. So it was a wonderful day in Bosa, $2,200. So what BOSA does here, if you haven't caught on yet, BOSA gives you advantages of trading. You're not just trading one instrument now, you're actually trading the relationship between two instruments. And that's what we really like about spread trading is there are almost seasonal moves on a daily basis. Here's one, the spread prediction line, the spread history shows this spread usually goes down in the about eight o'clock and finishes at about 10 o'clock up higher. This is like a micro seasonality move. Now you might've heard spreads in the past. Spreads have been used for centuries to hedge risk in the market. Um, and what they would do is they would look at seasonal moves of different agricultural products or 
metals that are seasonality moves in metals are, are well known. So these seasonal influences that took multiple days or weeks before are now being printed out on a daily basis. And that's where your edge is. You don't need to hold these spreads for a week or two or three or a month. You can hold them for minutes. And that's what we're looking at. BOSA gives you that ability. It gives you the ability to manage your risk a little better, tighten up your stop losses, give it a prediction about where we're going to end up. So we get targets that are being portrayed here. And it's a smarter way to trade the markets. It's a roadmap. Mobosa gives you a roadmap every day. And a good trader, someone who's familiar with price action and simple support and resistance techniques can trade markets profitably and cover much of that risk, reduce it, and increase your targets. So again, BOSA is a fascinating tool. I want you to get involved with it. Feel free to email me. Again, my email is moneyraintrader at gmail.com. Love to talk to you about BOSA and that get you connected to our community. We have a Discord room that's starting to form, and we've got many ways for you to contact us. Uh, it's not for everybody. This is an elite tool for professionals. And if you want to raise your game a little bit, I'd love to have you join us. Again, thanks for stopping by today. Email me. Love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.